here at Formnext 2019 and I'm at the BCN3D booth and next to me is Eric Palares. Palare? Pallares. Pallares, oh. so I got it completely wrong. Next to us here, right in between us, is the new BCN3D Epsilon, which is the latest release from uh, BCN3D. And Eric here is very kindly um, giving us some time to explain to us what's new about this machine. So let's start by specifications, build volume. Well, it's 420 by 300 by 400. Yeah, it's quite of the same surface than the Sigmax, but twice the, the, the Z axis. And what new features does it bring to the market compared to the Sigma R19? Well, besides the, the obvious, the, the size, uh, we put a lot of uh, attention on, on make it fully enclosed. That's critical in order to print more advanced materials. So we have a passively controlled environment uh, with the heat generated by the heated bed. That, by the way, can reach up to 120 degrees in uh, less than less than 10 minutes. Uh, so we, we create the, the right environment to print full volume parts, even with ABS or PA. You know, compared with professional desktop or entry level printers can be uh, challenging. I, I also noticed it, it, it's actually hard to miss the extra large purge buckets. Uh, this is something that <laughs> a lot of people who have the Sigma will appreciate because this thing is insane. And it looks absolutely beautiful. And I have to say that the attention to detail on the design is absolutely amazing. So what else can this provide in terms of um, assisting a production environment? Um, well, as the other products uh, from BCN3D, uh, we are taking profit of the IDEX architecture. So here uh, we are printing with just one extruder, but you know uh, you can print with mirror or duplication in order to, uh, in the same time, get twice of the uh, parts of the prototypes or end-use parts with technical materials. So that would be the, the, the most important thing. Uh, so there's still uh, some, some research to do in combining tools, uh, you know, to uh, productive uh, solutions, but, but yeah, we're in the right, in the right direction with the, the IDEX technology. And I also see, is that a HEPA filter that I see up there? Yeah, HEPA filter and uh, active uh, carbon filter as well. All right. And is that what kind of regulates the, let's say, the, the top end temperature of the enclosure? Yeah, right. Uh, we can control the, the speed of the fan. So in case of overheating, we can extract, extract more air uh, from the build chamber to reduce. As I said before, it's passively controlled, so there's no heaters or a target temperature, but yeah, we, we need to prevent a uh, too overheat in order to get the, the, the right uh, extrusion performance. What about the, the board? Um, I know you mentioned that it's the same A-bit board that the Sigma R19 has, but it has a few little extra add-ons. Could you give us more details? Uh, sure. Uh, the motion control is the same to, to manage the, the stepper motors, uh, uh, we are pretty pretty uh, happy with, with the performance, but of course we, we lack uh, on the Sigma and Sigmax on all the connectivity features. So now we are including a single board computer. So basically we have a computer inside of the printer uh, with a Linux operative system, and that unlocks uh, the potential for you know connectivity, uh, multi-language, and more stuff to come in the, in the coming months. So uh, this obviously has internet connectivity, which is, it has internet connectivity. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing you can control and monitor this remotely? Uh, yeah, you can drag and drop files or send them via BCN3D Cura. Uh, you can have the uh, history of the jobs uh, that you previously printed and reprint them. If you want, uh, you get notified when the uh, print finishes or, well, for example, you run out of filament. So. Uh, yeah, there are a bunch of, of nice uh, features. And another thing that uh, we need obviously to ask, when does it start shipping and what is the price point? Uh, it starts shipping uh, mid-December and the price point is uh, €6,995 plus taxes. And I'm guessing that for most of, at least, I'm not going to say most of my viewers, this is probably out of their budget, but it is quite a machine for productivity. So who is your main focus market for this machine? Uh, well, we are focusing, obviously, to uh, medium size, small, medium-sized companies, also enterprises uh, that are focusing on productivity, end-use parts, not, on, not uh, only prototyping, of course. Big prototypes uh, will be always uh, an application for 3D printing. 
but uh, we are focusing specifically on the, on the added value of having uh, end-use parts for demanding applications. So in, there are several fields in the industry, uh, in different vertical markets that can get a lot of profit of this, of this machine. Well, thank you very much for giving me time to do this interview. I have to say, I I really love the look of the machine. I'm going I'm, to I'm gonna keep on saying it because I, it's, it's big enough to hug. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Eric. It was a pleasure. And we'll speak to you very soon. Thank you.